It's Kira Kirkland and Matador. Your horse went very well yesterday. You're in the lead. But he looked a little bit tense and under the pressures of the atmosphere. How do you think this evening is going to go? Well, I hope it, it will go well. But that's really the reason that I haven't made cue with him earlier, because he was very tense. I, I did a couple of them when he was seven years old, and, and then it just was too much for him. But the holder of the silver medal, and your horse has been off for a year with an operation. What, in fact, was wrong with him? Well, two years ago, last April, he he got colic and it didn't look bad at all and he had never had colic before and then uh, he got operated and it was really very bad and then uh, after the operation it didn't the wound didn't heal really so we had he got hernia and then he was operated once again so i sat on him really to christmas unbelievable that after all those heartaches she can come second in the world championships and now can she take the Volvo World Cup. Gets rid of the whip. The rider's not allowed to ride with the whip in the arena. The Danish warm blood, Matador, 12 years old, by May Sharif. And a very dramatic entrance. Of course, this is a totally unknown quantity. Nobody in Europe basically has seen Kura do a music. So I think we're all sitting here with bated breath, wondering what she is going to produce. Again, a very unpredictable horse. We don't know how he's going to react to this electric atmosphere here. Well, this is certainly different music. start and of course he has just got to go virtually foot perfect to beat the last two both of which have pulled off wonderful cures with fantastic music so she has got to do almost the impossible well she's nearly done that already from a trot half fast to a passage half fast and another trot half fast very unusual movement This is what I was saying previously. This is what we've all been waiting for, to see if she's got any little things tucked up her sleeve, some special movements that we've not seen before. And I would say this is exactly one of those. Slightly different design, very artistic, and also very difficult, technically. Very good start so far. Beautiful transition into the passage. Look how high the knees are coming up. And she's got very good high-powered music. A little bit backward in the Piaf. He comes now. so far underneath, doesn't he, behind. was certainly very different. The Piaf on the pirouette and straight into the canter pirouette and immediately down into a very good walk. And I would imagine she's going to repeat it this way. Never seen that done before. Oh. dramatic he's almost beating those drums with his feet yes and the crowd completely appreciating the brilliance of that movement beautifully choreographed the crescendos coinciding with the extended paces Technically, very good half pass, very good bends. And the 
pirouette. Sometimes it's very easy to ca get carried away with the choreography and forget the technical side. Remember, both sides are judged. Now the matching half pass to the left again, very technically good. Very good floor patterns here. I just love this exciting beat that underlies this music. Absolute perfect timing. Again, slightly uh, different movement there. The serpent time with the one time changes, foot perfect. Interestingly, technically, that's the most correct counter we've seen. We're back into a change of music again, totally dramatic. And look at that, the elegance of that and the power. Again, she's going to, I'm sure, build to a real crescendo. natural disco horse completely in the rhythm and of course the crowd clapping too the, which proves the whole sort of feeling and now one handed so this is a real test where the horse is remaining completely in rhythm and willing Wow, what a finish. That horse just went on forever in Piaf with the rider just one-handed, and she's thrilled with that. As far as I'm concerned, that's the most technically correct. I think the crowd appreciate that as well. And now we can see the one-time changes. Could be a little bit straighter there especially to the left. Uh, when you see them in slow motion, you quite often see these little flaws. He could have, but then of course, having she's doing them on that serpentine. Yes. So to be fair, actually, that's quite a difficult seeing them from this shot. Now oh, that was a lovely big change. Oh, beautiful. Two time changes. These are lovely changes. Look how big they are how much ground they cover. Mm, full of expression and power. Lovely. And here they come. We've got the mark. She's done it. 76.64. And Kira Kirkland from Finland is the Volvo World Champion. Second spot to Nina Menkova from the Soviet Union and third, Sven Rottenberger, Germany. So how fitting that the Volvo World Cup should go home to Scandinavia. And we leave you with one last look at the magnificent Matador and Kira Kirkland. And from us all in Paris, bonsoir.